picture. It's a little bit bright out here. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I'm Tiffany. This is our small town life. We're happy to have you here. It's already a little bit later in the afternoon. It's after lunch time now. I think it's, y'all don't even know. I think it's around two o'clock. Um, we got up and did some of our morning chores. I took you along for that. And we started school today. I went back and forth on whether or not we were going to do that. Um, I wanted to get a little bit of an earlier start than what we normally do because with a new baby coming, I wanted to be able to take a few extra weeks off whenever the baby got here. And we could still start whenever and take however long off we need and make it work for us. That's part of the beauty of homeschooling. We can do that. But I still kind of had in my mind this schedule that I wanted to follow. And so I thought, well, if we go ahead and get started a couple of weeks earlier than we normally would, then we've got those couple of extra weeks to play with and take off from school whenever the baby gets here. So I wanted to go ahead and get started today. And then y'all, Easton woke up sick. He's been sick with some kind of stomach bug off and on for like the last week now. I actually just called the doctor to see what they wanted us to do because he was sick a week ago, felt better. Then he would be sick in the mornings and then he would feel better. Then he felt better again, and he felt worse today, so it was like, I don't know what's going on. So, he felt really, really bad this morning, I was like, oh, maybe we won't start school. Um, and I was like, well, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and start with Huddy. We'll do his school day, and then we'll see how Easton feels. So, I started with Huddy, and then Easton got to feeling better, and he wanted to do his stuff. So, I set his stuff up for him, and he got through... Um, what did he do? He did handwriting, he did language, he did math, and he was like, I think I need to take a break. So that's what he's doing right now. Maybe he'll do spelling and science today, or well, we'll see. Um, but he wanted to get started, and I was like, well, okay, we'll try it. So we started school today. I'm sitting on the porch. We've been working on our back deck, and I'm so incredibly excited about it. Um, the floor decking is pretty much done there's just a couple more boards left to put down and they're gonna start working on the railing and the roof so excited I've already been thinking about how I want to decorate this space and I'm just out here sitting on the ground <laughs> sitting on the on the, the wood right now but I've already been thinking about what I would love to put out here and getting excited about it it's a pretty nice day it feels really good out here we've had a lot of rain the last few days a lot of rain it was raining this morning 
And because of that, we have trucked a lot of mud in and out of the house, especially in the laundry room. And I really need to get it cleaned up. So I think that that is what I'm gonna go ahead and go do right now. I just got some random things around the house that need to be taken care of. So I should probably go do that. Although it is really, really nice out here right now. When we were first working on buying our house and going over the upgrades and things that we wanted, I almost had them leave out this utility sink because in my mind I thought it would be nice to have just a solid countertop that I could fold clothes on or whatever, but so many people told me that I would enjoy having a utility sink and they were right. I love this utility sink. We use it every single day. Um, it's my favorite part of our laundry room and I'm so glad that we have it. So a few days ago, I did a fall clean and decorate with me with the Dollar Tree haul. I'll link that in case you haven't seen it. And I cleaned my den really well on that day, but I didn't mop the floors. I was just too tired. So I decided today, since I had some mop water made, I would sweep and mop in the den before I tackled that muddy, muddy laundry room. As a mom, I knew there would be many strange messes that I would clean up in my days, <laughs> my days ahead, but since becoming a homestead mom, um, 
cleaning up dried mealworms is not necessarily something I ever thought that I would be doing, yet here I am cleaning up dried mealworms off my counter where the kids have spilled them out of the bag. Why is super talkative right now? I don't, I don't, what are you saying? I don't know. <laughs> but it is getting close to dinner time. And I don't know what I want to do for dinner. Easton does not feel well at all. I made him an appointment for in the morning. Y'all, he's miserable. Um, so I've just been trying to take care of him the best that I can. So for dinner tonight, it's just going to be something easy. I've got some tater tots. I think I'm going to put them in the air fryer. We can put some ranch and cheese and bacon bits and things on them and call it dinner because I know he's not going to want to eat. And um, Hudson and Audrey went over to my mom's for a little while. I'm sure they'll want something when they get back and I can throw their tater tots in the air fryer real quick. Just something easy because, like I said, I've been trying my best to take care of Easton. Bless his heart, he does not feel good at all. Uh, so that's probably going to be the plan for dinner tonight. My mom brought some figs that my pawpaw picked. I was excited about that. We'll probably turn those into some strawberry fig jam. That's my favorite thing to do with figs. So I'll give you a peek at those. There they are. Some of them still have to ripen a little bit. But the plan is to make some jam. <laughs> Why? We hear you. We hear you. Yes. Yes. What are you trying to tell us? Uh huh. You want to take that patsy out so we can hear you better? What are you telling us? Telling us something. I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. I'll be sure to show you a clip of what our dinner looks like tonight. Again, nothing fancy. Um, just a real life, simple meal <laughs> that I can put together for my family tonight. Uh huh. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Can you wait? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye.